Today's date's September 17th, 2020. This is Susanna, and she has a knee issue. And your history is that your knees got damaged. Um, you've had surgeries on both knees, three surgeries here, ACL and meniscus, ACL on the left knee. Right. And um, you're here because you're potentially facing a knee replacement on the right side, right. correct? And I have your permission to video you? Yes. And post you? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Your friend's in the background. You're okay with being in the background, correct? Yes. Thank you very much. I'd like to see you walk into the door. I would say that's guarded. Are you are you oh, guarding absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely, you're guarding it. Okay, sit okay, down. She really walks a lot worse than that. She walk, she, okay, walks worse than that. All right, let me see you sit down. I do everything with the left leg. So you're really protecting it by, by, by you putting all your weight on the left absolutely. leg. Absolutely. All right, you also had told me that you lost some muscle mass here. Yeah. And we'll, you've got shorts on, so we'll take a look. I think the viewer can see that there's narrowing here, muscle mass, compared to the left side. I can see that. Bring your legs out like that, that's good. And I just want to get a straight on of your knees. And your knees are a little bit enlarged from my perspective. Okay. Video something. And what was that that you just said to me? Why did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let your friend video it. Put your arm out. This is called kinesiology. Okay. Elbow straight, rigid. Hold. Now you're an athletic woman. You're a horse trainer. Right. Hold. Okay. And then. I can't I even did, tell that you're pushing. It's not that strong. All I did was I put my mobile phone on you, and I don't have another mobile phone I to put do. on you. I do. And right. I, so why don't you get it for me? Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to put this phone on you. Remember, you were nice and strong. Yeah. Hold. Nice and strong. Now I'm going to put this phone on you, and I'm going to take my baby finger. Keep your elbow straight. Hold. You got her face? Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird, right? Yeah, it was. That was my baby finger, and you had asked me to pushing is hard, okay? Yeah. Do you want to try breaking my arm with your baby running? Yeah, no, it is. What just happened was I put a noxious thing in your body's energy field. Right. And your energy field sensed it, and when I asked you for your strength, it weakened. Huh. That was my test to see if I can do this with you, okay? It's one reason why I don't carry a mobile phone on my person, and I don't like my patients to carry it on their person. Mm -hmm. Keep it away from you. And you're right, I like where you have it. It's in your backpack. Right. Okay, ready? We're going to show range of motion. So this knee has nearly full range of motion. You can push it the, harder. Okay, I can almost touch my fore, this finger with it. It's not quite full range of motion, okay? This knee, however, is a real problem. First of all, it's not, the leg is not straight, the knee is coming in a little bit towards the median, and this is the limit of your motion here, all right? That's significantly impaired, uh -huh. all right? Okay, you can. So you got it's a, just gotten a little worse. You've got a scar here, that and, you've got, and you've got a scar here from a couple different surgeries, and they're testing positive. That means that I want to treat them with a local anesthetic okay. called neural therapy, and then I want to do that before I want to do that before I inject your knee. Okay. Okay. And how come? Because a scar can set up an energy disturbance in your body just like a root canal can or mm -hmm. a dental infection. And that disturbance can impair healing, cause pain, and dysfunction. Okay. So I think your scars may be part of the problem. They may not be, but they're testing positive, so I want to check, I want to treat them. And it's a benign treatment, just a local anesthetic into the scar. And then after that, we can do ozone into your joint. Okay.
Okay, what was it that you had just said? I said it has more range of motion now that the scar tissue is not inflamed. For the viewer, all I did was I injected the scar here and the scar on the inside of the knee, and now there's your 20% more range of motion. Yeah, are you surprised? Totally, especially because it, yeah. I have to tell you, it kind of it has a funny, like, it, it itches. I want to keep bending it. Go ahead. Does that make sense to yeah. you? I want to play with it. It wants to bend. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Much different than it was before. Yeah, it's still the game. <laughs> okay, and look, I could not do that before. No, uh -uh. I'm actually putting some force here. Yeah, and no. I couldn't do that before. No, I would. So for you yeah, and the viewer, I'll explain. The scars themselves create energy disturbances and change the electrical properties of the tissue, so that the fascial planes, the planes of the tissue, may stick, and they don't move and simply injecting the scar releases that and now the fascial planes can move and that's why you got better range of motion just from the scar and we didn't even go into the joint no okay now we can do the joint wow so <clears throat> we just we just through the viewer we just put ozone about 17 18 cc's of gas into your knee and let's check range of motion wow now I would expect it to actually maybe even be a little less because there's a lot of volume in your knee. I put gas in your knee. But, it's but I can go like this and there's no pain. No. You're not you're not you're not guarding it. Right? Right. right. That's that's, true. that's significant. All right? And I can push and go down. So we made some progress. We'll put the sock back on. And I also realize the viewers should know you have a bunion which is going to impair your walking. Yeah. So, I just asked you, uh, you wouldn't have believed this if you didn't see it, is that correct? Absolutely, I would not believe it, but I do believe it, I saw it. Because you saw it, thank you. And you're, you're standing, standing on the outside. She's always on the outside of her foot when she walks. And now you're standing on the inside of your foot your for the viewer. Flat, right. What is that? Why is that meaningful? We just did something, right? What did right. we do? Right. We just injected ozone into my second joint at the base of my toe. And the metatarsal phalangeal joint at the base of the toe, because you have a hammer toe there, and that joint is fixed. It's correct? arthritically fixed, yeah. Yes. And so we put ozone in there. Only no ozone. anesthetic. No anesthetic. And now my, I could put the inside of my foot down and push on that joint and it yeah. doesn't hurt. And it, I'll say it itches, like I want to use it. <laughs> well, you're a, you're a jock, <laughs> yeah. you're an athlete, okay? I want, and that toe is actually con, con, rubbing, hitting the ground and pushing off the ground now because it's been avoiding any kind of pressure. Yay, well, oh, that's fabulous. I'm so glad I told you to do that joint too. I am too, <laughs> and I'm pleased, and I didn't know what to expect from that. Because yeah. Because it is a fixed joint. Yeah, so it won't it, be the next time you see me. Well, you hopefully you'll be working at it. That's yeah. really great, thanks. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. For this. And yeah. you are surprised. Well, her foot, I haven't seen her foot flat in years, years. Yeah. It's usually like this. Yeah, like, you totally walk on the side of your foot. Yeah, which is probably what caused yes. the hole. That's going to damage your knee even more. Yeah, because well, that's why I was like, I think we have to do that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Final comments for the viewer at the end okay. of your first day with me. I have more mobility in my knee than I've had for years. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. And no pain. No.